Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's caught, lock it. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. The first carry for C.J. Proces. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Third play here this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He hits his running back, Procise. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. After the interception, here's Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Let's pick it up. It's out Here's Jackson, going to throw again. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. The big fella was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 to score as they start first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. This complete to lock it. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. He'll buy some time right. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Now Wilson. He's going to look deep for more. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. 
And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and 10. Again, Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 25 yards that time. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Mike, 48, Mike, 48. On third down, Wilson. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Jackson. Sneed's got it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He was looking for Nick Boyle that time. That'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. Ingram again, a first down carry. And he'll be taken down as that 